Mashed potatoes, one of the essential Thanksgiving side dishes. It's great, like stuffing, it's easy to do ahead. You can mash them and make them the day before. You can throw them in the microwave to reheat them. You can throw them in the oven to bake them mashed so and they get a little bit of a nice crust and you can reheat them that way or you could just put them on a stove a little bit of like cream and just kind of bring them back to life that way and then serve them hot but we're going to show you how to make a primo for thanksgiving today it's going to involve a lot of butter we're going to use two sticks i generally do one russet potato per person yukon golds are a good option to do here this is a starchy potato so we wanna make sure we rinse the starch out. Yukon Gold is a starchy and a waxy potato, which makes it good for uh, mashed potatoes, and nice and creamy, but it uh, doesn't have a lot of fluffiness. Um, so I'm just gonna use Russet. If you wanna use a combination of Russet and Yukon Gold, that's probably gonna make a tastier mashed potato, so feel free to do that. But this is easy because I can measure it out one per person. So, you know, if you're gonna serve 10 people, make eight to 10 rest potatoes for your mashed potatoes. And then from there, you can sort of scale up the recipe. Um, I'm gonna make three potatoes here. I'm not making them a ton. This isn't Thanksgiving yet for me. I have some heavy cream. I'm gonna get it hot and then add it to the potatoes. The butter I'm going to melt first it helps to become one with the potatoes. Getting butter all throughout, I feel like it just helps a little bit better than putting cold butter in there. So that's what's gonna make it sort of creamy and delicious. We've got salt, and I'm also gonna add olive oil. Olive oil is gonna add some more flavor as well. And then some chives, just for the topping. So we're gonna get these guys peeled, diced up. We wanna dice them up evenly sized, just so that they're cooked evenly. See all the brown stuff? Every vegetable peeler has a little function that enables you to pop those right out. I'm just gonna cut it down the middle and then into quarters. And then fill up with cold water. So now we have starchy water. It's foggy, what we wanna do is make sure that we drain out all of this cloudy water and just make sure we get it till the water sort of runs clear. So now we rinsed off all the starch, which we wanna get rid of to make nice fluffy potatoes. The water's clear, filled it back up with cold water. I'm gonna season it heavily with salt and I'm gonna get it onto the stove. I'm gonna bring it up to a boil and then down to a, like a moderate simmer and just cook them until the fattest piece that I could find in here, probably something like that, can smash easily with tongs or you can also check with a fork or a knife and there should just be no resistance. Run these through a food mill and get them nice and fluffy. So let's just get over to the stove. It's just the way I like them. Some people are like them really sort of pureed, almost like a sauce. 
I like them to stand up a little bit. I want them to be creamy, buttery, smooth, and have it not sort of melt down on the plate. You get some gravy to kind of stick into the center, and it's just so decadent. If you're scared of butter, Thanksgiving is not the holiday for you. Everything we're doing this month is going to be heavy on butter. We only live once, guys. How many Thanksgivings in our lifetimes do we get? Do the math, but I think it's worth it to go over the top, especially this time of year, because you just gotta be grateful for everything you have and for butter. I cannot tell you how good those potatoes were. You don't have to overthink it. You don't need a lot. Just some butter, some potatoes, some cream, salt, and you do it right, and you're gonna be the star of Thanksgiving with these sides, I'm telling you. Anyway, that's all I have today. I'll see you next time. Go feed yourself.